Brett Stevens is making dinner with groceries that he bought himself. He used to rely on food banks when he moved out on his own, and he was grateful for the help they offered. I used to have a hard time paying for food at the same time as, you know, paying rent and paying for a whole lot of other things to get by in life. So food banks were very essential. Around 64,000 Winnipeg people access food banks every year. A lot of them live in areas like this, Daniel McIntyre, Winnipeg's downtown or the North End. These areas are classified as food deserts, meaning people who are living here don't have access to convenient grocery stores or fresh food. A new online resource, Winnipeg Food Atlas, is aiming to provide people with solutions on how they can help. The Winnipeg Food Atlas celebrated its launch with fresh fruit, vegetables and pastries. On the website, you can find maps of food banks, community gardens, and grocery stores. The site's creators are hoping that people will push the government to make change. Laura Ray is taking matters into her own hands. The betrayals of communities uh, by, by special interest groups, including uh, elected officials, and it's disgraceful. She has a pantry in her house with donated food and goes out with the Bear Clan three times a week to deliver hot meals. I want to build a capacity where I can feed everybody. Ray says the best way to help her is gift cards so she can buy as much fresh food as possible. Brianne Feeblecorn, RRC-TV.